Back here to the Manhattan DA's investigation into former President Trump. We expect the grand jury to reconvene tomorrow as it considers charges. Meantime, Trump lashing out at the DA during his first official campaign rally in Texas. Eyewitness News reporter Johnny Fernandez live in lower Manhattan with the developments. Johnny. Hey, good morning, Mike. And former President Trump, he held that rally in Waco, Texas. And like you said, he fired back at the criminal investigation that he is going through right now. Now, the former president addressed his supporters in Texas for about 90 minutes yesterday and wasted no time in firing back against the multiple investigations, looking into his conduct and declaring himself the most innocent man in the history of our country. Now, Trump has taken a rebellious attitude towards Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, including a warning of potential death and destruction if he is indicted. Now, Bragg is investigating hush money payments to adult film actress Stormy Daniels on the eve of the 2016 presidential election. On Friday, his office received a non-hazardous powder and a written death threat note. Now, as tensions continue high over the investigation, Trump stresses that he's the victim and he did not do anything wrong. The new weapon being used by out-of-control, unhinged Democrats to cheat on election is criminally investigating a candidate, bad publicity and all. You got bad publicity. It's the craziest thing. I got bad publicity and my poll numbers have gone through the roof. It gets so much publicity that the case actually gets adjudicated in the press. And people see it. And they go and they say, it's unfair. Now the grand jury is expected to reconvene tomorrow. Reporting in Lower Manhattan, Johnny Fernandez, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Johnny, thank you. Stay with Eyewitness News and ABC News as we continue to follow this investigation. We'll bring you any new information on it.